Okay, now in this video right here, it's just I'm gonna go over these with you. Okay, so you want to? I want. I just want you to take notes. Now this time you got a little more complicated. Okay, you got six plus three x equals negative eighteen. So here's my x. So between the three and the x, there's no sign. That's a multiplication. And then between the six and the three, we have a plus. What I want you to do then is to circle that three times x, okay? You have to do the opposite of the plus first, okay? Before you get into the circle, that number there has to be dealt with. So there's a plus between, so you're going to do the opposite of plus, which is to minus. There's two steps you have to carry out. Remember, the number you circle, that's why on this one, you start doing these and you see more than one number on the x side, you're going to want to definitely put a dot and circle the dot, okay, if you have multiplication. Because that can cross out, now line up your equals, and you've still got 3 times x. And then I take negative 18 minus 6, and that's negative 24. Okay, now it's down to just a one step. What's and then I make my wall again. What's happening to x now? It's just being multiplied. So we do the opposite, which is to divide by three. So I take negative twenty-four divided by three. I get negative eight. Okay. So that's our answer. Next is negative eight. Okay, now the next one. Negative 3 plus 5x equals 12. So here's my wall. So I got two numbers with the x. Between the 5 and the x, we got a time. So I want to circle that. And between the x and the negative 3, you got a plus. But you, you got to get rid of the, you got to deal with the negative 3 first. Okay? So between the negative 3 and the circle, you have a plus sign. So you're going to do the opposite of plus which is to minus, and you're going to minus negative 3, okay, put that in parentheses, that's a negative 3 in parentheses, and the other side I minus parentheses negative 3. Now remember, that's actually plus plus, so that crosses out, you got 5 times x, and then over here is like plus plus, so that ends up being just 12 plus 3 which is 15. Okay, now the x between the x and the 5 is multiplication, so we divide. Okay, so 5 and 5. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. So x equals 3. Okay, next one. Here's the wall. So between 7 and the x is a times. Between the x and the 12 is a plus. You got to do you have to do the outside number first, okay? Again, I repeat that. You have to do the outside number first. You can't go to the inside first. You got to do the outside first. So it's a plus 12, the opposite of plus 12 is minus 12 minus 12. So I drop my equals, and we have 7 times x. So over here, we take negative 23 minus 12, and that's negative 35. Okay, now here's my wall. Now there's just one number. Between that and the x, there's a times. So we do the opposite of times, which is divide by 7. So I take negative 35 divided by 7, and that's negative 5. Okay, next problem. Again, you see there's two numbers with the x. So this is division, this is minus. You're going to circle the division, okay? You always circle the division or multiplication because that tells me, okay, I can't worry about inside the circle till I deal with that 3. So that's a minus 3, so we do the opposite, which is to plus 3 and plus 3. So 8 plus 3 is 11. And you got x divided by 6. So now we just have one number. 
Okay, between the x and the 6 is division. So what's happening to x is division. So we multiply. So 6 and 6. x is now by itself. 11 times 6 is 66. Okay, number 13. This one's a little bit weird, too. These next two are kind of weird. Okay, 13 equals 8 minus 5x. So what's happening to x? Well, there's nothing between the x and the 5, so I know that's multiplication. Now, you see the number that I have multiplied by x. If it's a minus in front of it, you're going to want to make it plus negative. Okay, so you're going to circle that so you have addition of 8. And the multiplication of negative 5. So outside the circles where you got to do first. Okay, again, you don't go after that, you go after the number that's outside the circle. Because there's two numbers there. Between the 8 and the circle is a plus sign, so we're going to do the opposite. We're going to minus 8. And then minus 8. So equals 13 minus 8 is 5. And we have negative 5 times x. Now between the x and the numbers of times, so that means I divide by negative 5. And I line up my equals. Over here I have to divide 5 by negative 5. That's negative 1. x. Okay, so negative 1. Okay, so here's my wall. Between the x and 3, there's no sign, so it's times. And then between these two, you got minus. But I don't want that 3 just to have a minus sign. So Because in multiplier on the x, okay, I'm going to make it plus negative. And then I'm going to circle it. And outside is a plus sign. Okay, So I have to do undo the... Uh, I have to deal with out here first, outside. Between the 16 and the circle, there's a plus sign. The opposite of plus is to minus. Then I go minus 16 from 34. So I'd line up my equals. I have negative 3 dot x. And then I take 34 minus 16. That's 18. Okay. And then between them, you got times. So you divide by negative 3. And 18 divided by negative 3 is going to be negative 6. Okay, next problem. So, you see two numbers on the side of the x, okay? Between the x and the 6, you have division. You want to circle the division, and we got to deal with that. So, between the 15 and the circle is a plus, so the opposite of plus is to minus. 15 minus 15 is 0. I drop my equals, and we have x divided by 6 still. And then I take negative 21 minus 15. That's negative 36. Okay, now I just have the x and the 6 with division, so I multiply. And then negative 36 times 6 is going to be negative 216. Okay, next one. Set up the wall. There's two numbers there. So the division or multiplication you circle. Okay. Now between the ninth, negative 19 and the x is a plus sign. The opposite of plus is to minus, and you're going to minus negative 19. So I put minus parentheses negative 19, and I do the same thing over here. Okay, so minus negative means plus plus is what it really means, plus plus. So that crosses out. I drop my equals, I, I line it up, I have x divided by 3, and over here I take 8 plus 19. 
on a calculator you just go 8 plus 19 okay you don't go 8 plus plus 19 it'll say syntax error so it's just 8 plus 19 it's going to be 27 and now I'm down to just one number between the X and the numbers a division sign so I multiply by 3 27 times 3 is 81. Okay, so x equals 81. Okay, we'll work more on that in the future.